What's up, Burning Army? This is Bryce Allen 13 here once again, bringing to you another reaction video. And this one is Stampy's Love Your World, a new project. And this is where Stampy was building his rocket ship. So that way he can go to the moon. <laughs> and also gets to play on the, uh, the dunking booth, uh, since he finally got that game finished. And there's nothing else for me to say, I don't think so. We'll go ahead and react to do a, a new project in three, two, one, start. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is a video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And as you can see, it is the middle of the night, and there's no stars and no moon. I seem to have a weird glitch in my world where every now and then the weather plays weird tricks and the sun and the moon disappear, but I believe the sun should the be sun has evaporated. Rise, although I'm not sure uh, whether it will or not. Um, anyway, on with the video, and hello Esther, you are right down here? How is she I'm still a baby? A while, having fun? I I'll take that as a yes, why not? <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to be joined by my good buddy Elfa Lee, who I believe is cooking me breakfast. I, I guess he's in my kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah, cooking in the kitchen today. my breakfast today, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, so here's my kitchen through here. Hello, Lee. Oh, look at him there. Busy, busy working around the kitchen. the kitchen. Yay, cake. How did cooking I know? I like the new tradition. I like yeah. the new tradition of having cake for breakfast. I think I might carry that across into my own life as well, rather than just uh, inside of Minecraft. Uh, anyway, there's quite a lot to get done Inside today. of Minecraft is uh, enough. The first half of the video is going to be building and working and actually uh, trying to get something productive done and um, we'll see how well that goes and the second no, half stampy. of the video is going to be jolly good fun we're going to head over to the fun land and uh, we're going to play on the dunking booth ride uh, that you may have uh, saw me finishing uh, in my last video so that should be jolly good fun and here we go here oh we, here yeah, we seem the, to be having the new another compact love garden. Dull day. I think that Minecraft can tell that I'm actually in England, and it adjusts the weather accordingly. It means that I always have dull, ugly-looking, grey days rather than sunny <laughs> days. But oh well, it doesn't matter. And are you right, Lee? Why are you looking all so upset? Is it just the weather? Is the weather getting you down, Lee? Oh, I know, I know. It's it's not good. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because of the bio anyway. you're in. Okay, so first I'm going to add someone to my love garden, and the first thing you may have already noticed is that... Oh no! All the signs have gone! All the signs have been taken out of the love garden! Don't worry, I've not taken anyone out of the love garden. Everyone's been crammed Everyone into one sign. Here, but they're all just a little bit more compact. Uh, because I had too many signs, they were taking ages to load in. Uh, so I've basically... Uh, put it so that there's four people per sign. Clever. Uh, I can fit more people in, and more people uh, can be jo uh, added into my love garden. And if you don't know what my love garden and that's is, that's how he's way, done it to, uh, to the end of the a series. Place where, uh, I put someone's name down in a sign and give them a shout out, just to say thank you for something or other. Or I don't know. It's, it's normally due to a comment someone's left, but also it's people that send me pictures and videos and stuff to say thank you. Uh, I add them to my love garden, and today I am adding. Ben M843, and uh, the reason I'm adding Ben M is uh, because he suggested a name for the goldfish in my dunking booth, and uh, I decided to call it Bobbin, uh, which um, is of Bobbin course the name the that he suggested, and uh, there's quite a few good names, uh, a lot of people suggested Jack or Jacko, uh, because his head's a jack-o'-lantern, I thought that was quite clever. Cool. Uh, also quite a lot of people suggested the name Cake, uh, which kind of made me laugh, because it was a bit Cake like the goldfish. <laughs> because it was a fish. Uh, so, yeah, I decided Bobbin, though, uh, because I quite like the name Bob for a fish anyway, and it's kind of like bobbing up and down because it's a fish. I don't know. <laughs> I, I like bad puns, so I think I kind of just like that name. So, yeah. Stampy uh, is the king of bad buddy. puns. And uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, building the, kind of like the launching pad for the rocket ship. I'm going to have a massive rocket ship here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to call, but um, not sure what I'm going to call it, but it should be quite awesome. Uh, but first I'm going to build like the, the scaffolding bit of it. You know when you see rocket ships... It's like how the lighthouse is just appearing and disappearing in the background because he's like uh, so yeah, walking like past the fence and, uh, because of the, yeah, the draw distance. Called, but hopefully, uh, this I just find it kind of funny. Okay. So it's basically going to be a load of uh, never brick stairs and fences I laugh and at stuff, stupid so, things, don't uh, judge this me. This should look okay, we'll see though, and I'm not entirely sure where to build it. I want the rocket quite big, so I can guess it will be in this area here. So if I start building the scaffolding in about this area... And so it's basically going to be stairs going up like this, and it's all going to be 
uh, never brick stairs and then all just fences all around it to kind of make it look like scaffolding. So it'll look like just a whole load of fences and kind of concealed in the middle will be like this staircase. So uh, the way we're going to do it is I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and build like the staircases going up and then Lee's going to sort of follow behind me. Building You're in chopping nether brick with an axe. That? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, so uh, hopefully this won't get too boring, but um, we kind we kind of need to build this before we build the actual rocket ship because the way you're going to be able to get into it is by going up the stairs, and then there's going to be like a little bridge leading onto the rocket ship, and then yeah, I'm going to go into the rocket, and I don't know, I could fly around in space for a bit, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll go to the moon or something. That that would be cool. It'd be cool if you could actually do that in Minecraft. <laughs> I know there's actually a um. There's a mod in the PC version that allows you to build a working rocket ship and you can go to other planets and find new materials on different worlds and stuff. And it looks so amazing and I want it. Oh. It's not fair. I mean, I do like the Xbox version. It's kind of... It's I kind wish of they would add it in the actual one. version of Minecraft. I've grown up on. I've been playing it for That'd a be year cool. or whatever. But it's what I know and it's what I love. It's where all my friends are. But uh, sometimes I do get a bit jealous when I see all of the other stuff that they can do in PC. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the good thing about Minecraft is it's a sand box like it's different for everyone as long as you keep having ideas and coming up with new things to build then i don't know then it's kind of endless you don't really need any new additions to be added because you can kind of just come up with your ideas yourself if you have a new idea you can just build it you don't have to wait for someone to add it into the game right, so <laughs> yeah, basically it's going to be a uh, staircase leading all the way round up here and i know i'm building it very slowly so, but uh, I'm also, uh, new blocks I'm and stuff added to the game can pro time. provide more to the imagination the entire thing in with fences and they should look pretty cool and uh that's just my opinion video, though we contemplated doing it out of um, like stone steps and using iron gates uh, but then when we tried to do like a bit of a mock-up to work out what it would be like uh, we realized how annoying it is building out of iron gates or iron fences whatever they're called so yeah we decided that we we're gonna they're use, just, uh, just never and glass stuff. panes as well they're and a pain you never break really easy to place now. Uh, if you don't know how to get all of this never Boom. break all you need to do is uh, get never rack from the never and then smelt it, then you get never bricks, then you can make it into blocks and then fences and stairs and stuff. So it's actually really easy. It's like it's nice having a new material I can build a lot of things out of because I I play on survival. Like I'm normally quite limited to what I can build out of. And uh, so it's nice having another material that there's plenty of that I can actually uh, build lots of things out of. And I do use a uh, creative mode sometimes to give me materials just so uh, I don't need to keep up. I'm glad my that they world. fixed the biome like blend in, in the uh, title update nine, which I couldn't normally get. Like because I just noticed the biome blend there. Uh, because I would have no way of getting them uh, without having to start a new world. I do cheat and give myself that. And uh, also, like if I'm building like a roller coaster or something and I need loads of a like particular colour of wall. Uh, I do use creative mode for that. Like it's not really cheating, it's just that if I had to gather it legitimately, it would just take so long and then I wouldn't be able to upload as many videos. So it's kind of it's kind of the lesser of two evils in my mind. But in terms of most other things I do it legit. I don't know, it's just more fun doing survival to me. Like I, I do want to sometimes more build big massive things in creative mode, but I don't know, it's always just a bit you always feel a bit more proud when you've built it yourself and you've had to build little platforms to get up there. And you feel like you feel like a human trying to build things rather than a superhero flying around and stuff. I don't know. I think it's just a little bit more <laughs> True. rewarding. Uh, anyway, I think this is uh, about I like the both versions, I want to though. get to for this. So if I kind of build just a bridge leading out now, do you reckon from <clears> here? Um, actually, yeah, if I go to that fence... If I just build like a straight bridge, I think survival actually, mode might be my number one. And I think this will be high enough. I mean, the rocket ship's not going to be too big. So yeah, then there'll just be a bridge leading across here, and this will go to like an iron door, which will lead into the rocket ship. And I was thinking of having a orange and white rocket ship to kind of go with my fur would look quite cool. And yeah, so th this is almost done. Things like Stampy was like is going when he was building his transportation stuff, he continued that orange and white thing. Good job, anyway. Let, let's go help him out now. And then we're going to head over to the fun land and play on the dunking booth. And I'm so happy with how the dunking booth ended up. Like, you kind of saw it working at the end of the last video in terms of what you have to do. Uh, but you never saw the, uh, the mechanical side of it, the, the actual dunking mechanism. And with that added, it's so fun. It's so funny just seeing your friends get dunked into the water. So I'm kind of wanting to get this bit out of the way just so I can show you that last bit. <laughs> I, I promised the exciting ending of the video so you have to watch through all the ball stuff with me just placing a load of blocks but uh, so what the plan is for the next few videos is uh, once we've finished this bit 
uh, we're going to go and start building the actual rocket ship and uh, we're going to build probably in the next video like the outside of the rocket ship like the main shape and then in the video after we're going to build the inside and i'm actually going to try and add like fake engines and stuff and the rocket ship is actually going to be powered by food i'm going to have the main oh yeah it's powered by cake. cake and so that um, I can fill it up with all cookies and stuff, and that is what's going to run it. So instead of using coal and stuff, and shoving like, a bunch of pastries into, into the engine, food, you know, all of my leftovers. That's... You know, when you finish your I think dinner, in reality that would destroy the engine. To get rid of the leftovers, or you you sneakily feed it to the dogs if it's Brussels sprouts. <laughs> instead of doing that, I can just take all of my leftovers and dump it into the engine of the ship, and then uh, that should power it. And uh, yeah, I think we're not far off being done here. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can kind of see what it will look like. I might add some torches on it just to to light it up a bit but uh, this is basically what it's going to be like so um yeah let's go back for a bit and have a look at it from the outside um <laughs> it doesn't look great yet there's obviously uh, a few gaps with the fences but this is basically all it looks like they have these really fancy expensive looking rocket ships and then they basically build scaffolding next to it that's what it actually looks like so <laughs> that's kind of what i'm doing here just a bit more of a, a scaled down version and i realize i don't have a dog with me yeah I it's like take a dog with me um but i didn't actually take one that's lee's dog there oh that, that's that's no good oh i forgot he had sparky with him dogs called anymore oh, I, I know i should know i'm gonna have to check on my way to the fun land what uh, lee's dog was called i know i should know um, did you keep getting hurtly what's going on like i think every time he drops down he just hurts himself a little bit more be careful up yeah there, he mate. gets impaled by a fence insurance don't don't fall off and try and claim any compensation of me for danger in the workplace you're risking your own life going up there you, you've got to accept that I have a contract for all of my Minecraft helpers to uh, sign, just so uh, if they do get damaged in the workplace, then uh, that way I'm not liable for anything. And yeah, here we go. Now wow. it's almost finished. Now once I've just placed these last few bits in, and I've got through so many fences. Uh, luckily, I got loads of Neverack from the... Um, uh, from the Never, and I've actually got a load of Neverack uh, smelting as we speak in case we do run out. Uh, but this looks quite cool. Uh, Always it's ready. Dark, isn't it? Let me put a few torches up. Can you put torches on fences? Mm. Oh, I don't think you can. That's a bit annoying. I suppose I can put one there and there. I guess uh, there's probably some places on the way up. If I put them just down on here, I suppose that will do. You might you might burn your feet a bit as you walk up, but that doesn't matter. They're <laughs> you LED never torches. Really think of torches well. actually being made out of fire, do you? They're kind of just like little floating light bulbs really but yeah that, that could actually be quite dangerous <gasps> i might actually on the way up just put a few normal blocks just so we can put torches on them this is a bit it's a bit like a massive cage isn't it i should also have fences yeah like a big out uh, big giant along, referee like, or something here, like across the bridge leading into the uh the ship uh, this looks quite cool. What I might actually do is uh, have a look online at what they look like in real life and kind of try and copy them a bit more. <laughs> I should have like a sort of mission control place. I need like a little like shack underneath just full of like computers and mechanical things. I need a place where you know when the rocket successfully takes off and you always see the shots of them all like cheering and throwing their notes in the air and jumping up and down like crazy. <laughs> I need an area like down there where I can put all my Minecraft helpers down there so when I take off they can all start jumping up and down and cheering going woohoo stampy's <laughs> taking off stampy's in space oh i'm gonna have to do that I might stampy do that in, in space video, actually that would be quite cool so once i've done uh, this last bit along the top here uh, that should be it almost done right if i go and uh i need, I need some way to hop up as it's getting dark as well let's put a torch down there yeah if i put i think this one the last video ride, when stampy went to the moon done. was what probably was one of the most one of the most popular video, videos it looks like we pretty much have Should and good. So, people that thought uh, he one, actually one, went one, to the moon and he got the rocket working right, then we're going to have a nap, even though it's just an uh, editing trick spawn, and then we can go over to and am i actually one of those people that tried that and let's see what this looks like from the outside then out and I was uh -huh. so disappointed. And then when I saw <laughs> the behind the scenes video, up in my, my hopes were all destroyed. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's kind of exactly what they look like, actually, isn't it? It's kind of scaffolding. I mean, they're not the right but it's color. Cool, but it's a cool editing track, dark, though. dark, ready purple, but the kind of concepts there. So let's very quickly uh, head to bed, and then we can go and head over to the fun land. Actually, let's just head over to the fun land and uh, sleep over there, because otherwise uh, we're going to waste too much time going to bed. So we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to watch out for the googlies. I'm going to grab a dog with me as well so the dog can protect me. And uh, yeah, then we can head over to the fun land. Let me just hop down here. Ouch. 
And uh, yeah, who should I take with me today? Shortcut. I have no idea. Um, oh no, I need to get rid of Arrow. If you didn't no. see the last video, Arrow actually died, which was really sad. Um, I'm Rest in take, peace, Arrow. I'll take Benji with me, and you can tell which one's Benji uh, because it's the one with the longer tail. You can see Rest Benji's in peace, tail Benji as well. Right, that's the way you can tell it's Benji. Uh, so now let's Even though quickly, that video is like a long the way from now. Play on the dunking booth, jolly good. And uh, we might actually try dunking the dogs as well. <laughs> we did do that the other day. You can actually sit the dogs down on the little flap and uh, dunks the dogs, and it actually looks quite funny. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's go and get the minecast. Where's Leo? Are you around, Lee? There he is. There he is. He's heading to join me. All right, okay, let's go quickly. Off to the fun land we uh, go. I'm kind of scared mm -hmm. that we are going to get attacked. I'm sorry, it's probably quite dark as well. I need to put torches all around my house. I think if I put torches everywhere, then I should be safer because then I think I'd have less stuff spawning. But is there even anything here? We're not on, like, peaceful mode, are we? I haven't seen any googlies the entire video. I probably Maybe you just got I'm lucky. Gonna there, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to say, I haven't seen any googlies, and I'm going to turn the corner, and there's going to be a hundred creepers just standing <laughs> there, like, looking me in the face, like, you shouldn't have said that, mate. You shouldn't have said that. Um, we seem to yeah. be relatively safe. Where are they all? Surely I'm not on... But I can't be on peaceful mode, because I was hungry at the beginning of the video, and uh, on peaceful mode, your hunger automatically goes up. So... I don't know, I guess they're just not too bothered with us, so we might as well go to sleep anyway. Uh, yeah, they just decided to take a little lie in. Us. So, uh, I'm going to have a quick sleep uh, up in here, and then we can go and play. And you can kind of see uh, what it looks like finished. It hasn't changed uh, too much since looks the last good. video, but it's just sort of been, I don't know, a little bit more fine-tuned now. So, uh, it should be good fun. So, let's go and have a quick nap, and then in the morning, we can go and play the dunking booth, and we can try and dunk someone uh, into the fish tank with Bobbin. <laughs> With Bobbin the Goldfish. I love that name. Bobbin That's the Goldfish. A for a goldfish. <laughs> if I ever get a fish, I'm going to have to name it Bobbin now. <laughs> Bobbin up and down. I actually named um in my graveyard for my shooting range, if you saw that video, one of the graves that says Bob Along. Like, Mr. Along, first name. Oh, uh, that's... Which I thought was quite a funny name. And hello, Bobbin. Are you right in there? It looks quite happy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's such a ridiculous shape for a goldfish. And here you can see... Uh, here is Arrow's grave, and we put Aww, up an item rest frame. In peace, Arrow. And a, uh, a little arrow in there. There he is, just throwing down some pork chops in respect. We should probably throw down some arrows on his grave. I can't believe he died then. I'm losing them How so respectful. regularly now. I think I just need to make sure I always tell them to sit down when I'm going somewhere dangerous. So, Benji, come here. Benji, you sit down and you stay safe. You stay away from So, I think that's like the third dog that died in the fun land. Because right, so before that was Cedric, and before that it was arrows. Tika. And then, yeah, Lee's gone up to the dunking area. So what happens is... Oh, I think he's putting his dog down. <laughs> yeah, so what happens is... Yeah, sit. Sit, Sparky. Off. It lands on the pressure pads, uh, which should make it dunk. Right, so let me go into the mine car just to make it harder. And I have 15 arrows... And we've got to see whoever can do it quickest. There we go. The dog's ready. The dog's in position. I've got to see if I can do it in under 15 arrows. Right. Arrow number one. I got it. I got it first go. Look at the Hashtag dog. Hashtag perfect dog on the dog. first try. I, did it. I got it in one go. Woo. I can't believe that. It normally takes ages. Honestly, normally that takes about like at least 10 attempts. Right. Do you want to have a go, Lee? Do you want to get a arrow? And then you go in there and I'm going to, oh God, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, then I'm going to go up and I'm going to go and get myself dunked. Right, if I just put that up that. on there. Oh, why isn't it doing <laughs> it? Why isn't it letting me put it in the item frame? Let me get it right in the middle. What? What's going on there? I don't think you're okay, close enough to the item, item frame. frame. And put it back up. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe I could do it just the item frame. There we go, there you go. You've got to try and hit the arrow. <laughs> okay, let me go up to the, um, that works. the tower. How do I get to the tower? I should probably put a gate over here somewhere. I think right? that's more appropriate as well. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Right, it takes longer going up than it does going back down. And <laughs> it didn't even add a ring last time. This is where to get to there. How professional! Fell off and died in my last video, but uh, if I'm careful, I should be okay. So basically, there's a redstone trail just with torches that leads up to here, and this basically just leads straight here to the trap door. And then I basically have to stand here and uh, wait to be dunked. So go on, Lee. Go and see if you can hit it. You've got to get it in first go just to draw. And look, he missed. This is what normally happens. Normally we miss a hell of a lot. Get your we dog out of the way, too. He yeah, he did. He got it in two. Splash. We're doing good today. Now I'm recording. We've got our practice in. Like, we normally miss so much. But luckily, as I'm recording, we're actually managing to do it. Okay, right. Back up, Lee. Now we're going for the other one. Now we're going for the uh, the tower drop. And uh, what, what should we try and shoot? We'll try and shoot... Um... Oh, I've lost all my paws. I was going to put my paw chops in. I think I've lost them all. Did I drop my paw chops somewhere? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's try and shoot the arrow, shall we? 
Right, okay, so the plan is... Shoot the target. You go up to the top of this tower, and uh, you may have kind of seen this in the last video, and then i got to drop down, and as I fall through the gap, i got to try and shoot, and it's actually really difficult, so if I just go to the edge and crouch, that way I'm kind of just over the edge, and if I stop crouching and shoot... Oh, because that was rubbish! I just shot straight away! <laughs> right, shot number one! <laughs> we might be here for quite How a good while. is your aim, right, Stampy? Shot number two, shall we? Right, I think I'm just going to walk forward this time, and shoot! Oh, I did it! I cheated! I landed on the ledge! That counts! That counts anyway! Oh, okay, I think that was kind of cheating. I kind of accidentally landed on the wrong ledge there, right? Okay, Lee? Yeah, up. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a pass on that one. Two shots. If you get it in one shot, then you're winning. Although I was kind of cheating because I landed on that ledge. I didn't mean to, though. I didn't want to. Right, let me put that back up there. Yeah, since it was an accident... There. Right, uh, back up, back I'll give up him a pass. The, the final dunk. I love, I just love the delay. If you look, when you uh, shoot the target and it sets it off, you stole uh, Vera's pork chops. So there you. There's a bit of a delay from when they drop, and it really reminds me of like in cartoons when they like run over like a cliff and then they don't fall until they look down. There's just that little bit of delay where gravity hasn't worked yet. You're right. Go on, Lee. Go on, take your shot. You got to get it in one go. Oh, did he get it? Did he get it? Nope. No, he didn't. There's always that little pause where you don't know whether they got it or not, and you don't know whether you're going to get dropped or not. That's got to be close, though. Uh, I didn't see where it landed. You can kind of just about see where it lands, like if they hit the glass or whatever. That looked close, though. You've got to get it on this go to draw with me. I think he's, gonna, I think he's actually going to hit it. You've lost, Lee. This is the big one. Come on, you've got to make sure you hit it. Concentrate. Oh, 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 it's close, it's close, it's close. Oh, no, no, he's hit the glass. I can see he's hit the glass. Oh, that dang. That means I win. Kind of, technically, even though I was cheating. But I don't care. I'm going to still count that as I win. I'm just going to dunk myself just for good fun anyway. <laughs> anyway, we've just about run dang, out of time man. for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed um, us playing on our dunking booth. I certainly enjoyed making it and enjoyed uh, even more playing it. That I'm dunk I like the dunking booth. I'm going to shoot it before the end of the video. Can I get it again? Out of the way, Lee, careful. Careful. <laughs> don't run over there. But this is what normally happens. Normally it goes completely wild and crazy. That's a dangerous place to go, Lee. He's gonna get himself hurt, man. So close. Oh, I should have left. I should have left it with me getting it in one go. There we go. There we go. And mm -hmm. then there's no one to get dunked. <laughs> yeah. So in the next video, I'm gonna be carrying. At least I'll reset the trap door. Should be quite good fun. Uh, but sadly, as I did say, that's the end of this video. So I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye. And that was, uh, that was, uh, the new project. And I, and I was about to say that was, uh, Stabby playing the dunking booth, but the, which was also a thing he did. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, as I had fun looking back on this episode. In the next episode is where Stampy is continuing work on the rocket ship. But, I don't know if there's anything special that happened in that one, but well, we will find out, uh, tomorrow. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. And as always, stay awesome and this super pony.